Happy Thursday, everyone. Welcome to our Thursday Facebook Live. Just a general reminder, if you're driving, please wait till you're not to watch this. It will be available on um, Facebook in our video library as well as on our YouTube channel. If you have any questions about that or can't find it, let me know. Um, you can find us on YouTube at, I think it's just under Tri-State Motor Transit Company. So, um, But other than that, I'm going to go ahead and hand it on over to Miss Cheryl Hinkle, the Director of HR. We haven't seen her in a couple weeks. We've seen a lot of Michael Fisk, so it'll be good for a change. So here we go. Maybe. Okay. Well, hello. This is yeah. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, so happy Thursday. Um, there's not a lot to go over today. So um, I know Mike said last week or whatever, maybe one of the shortest Facebook lives. He's probably lying because it may be today. Um, just a couple of things that we want to uh, talk about on the COVID front. Um, uh, you guys will notice, you know, we had got. Uh, notice about pilot, um, some of the truck stops now requiring face mask. That's pretty much all of them now. So the Petros, Flying J, loves. Pilot, Loves, all of those are now going to require you to wear a face mask when you're in their facility. So, um, you know, kind of the thing that we've been dealing with, uh, the longer we go in this, when we think maybe there's an end in sight, it seems like um, maybe there's not. <laughs> So, once again, be prepared uh, to have that face mask available when you're going into those facilities. Uh, one of the things I want to touch on, on, on those lines is, um, you know, when you're going into customers and stuff, you know, we've kind of said this from the beginning, it, it doesn't matter what your own personal opinion on masks are, what my personal opinion on masks are. Um, as a company, going in and out of facilities, we are expected to comply with that customer. Um, I'm, I'm gonna tell you now, that's the same thing if it's outside vendors that are not just customers. Um, you know, going in, into you know, our hotel that we use here in Joplin, whatever, you know, we talk about this when we're doing orientation and you know, our ethics policy, you are the face of Tri-State. So, you know, no matter what your personal opinion is, if you're going in somewhere and, and making a big stink about having to put on a mask and then you crawl into a truck, you know, with Tri-State on the side of it, that reflects on us. So personal opinions aside, everybody is entitled to their own opinion, more power to what you believe. It's not my position to tell you what you should or should not believe, but company standpoint is we need to comply when we're doing that. So uh, please make sure... Uh, you're aware of that. I'm freaking out because I don't have my notepad in front of me. <laughs> and it's not crooked, so someone can say something. Maybe turn my phone crooked. Um, do you have any questions yet? Um, we just have a comment from Chad Bruff. He says, um, Marilyn announced today that masks are required in the state anywhere. And I would like to mention that I think there's like 30 states that is that's the case. Yeah. So... And I, and I look to see that going on. I read an article this morning that said um, Missouri is now, I guess over the last day or so, Missouri as a state had posted one of the, again, higher, um, like higher days of percentage of population or whatever with, with positive COVID tests. So, um, you know, Missouri as a state is not a mandated state, but it is definitely in Joplin, you know, in Springfield. There's a lot of areas that are so. Um, I don't, unfortunately, I don't see that going away for quite some time. So, you know, buy you some cute ones, you know, the little, <laughs> buy you the cute face masks and, um, you know, just be prepared with that. Um, Another thing I guess that um, I want to visit on, you know, Mike spoke about this, you know, last time is just be self-aware enough with the wear and tear that this takes on everybody emotionally and, um, you know, just anxiety, wondering if everything's going to be okay, you know, um, make sure that you're reaching out to people, um, you know, extrovert here. It's not okay. <laughs> this is not good for us. Introverts, it's probably not okay either. They're stuck home with a ton of people when they don't like being home with a ton of people. So, um, you know, reach out to your friends and family and just ask them how they're doing. That may make you feel better and definitely make them feel better too. So, you know, try not to just, you know, you may be isolating yourself um, 
you know, from trying not to get COVID, but, you know, emotionally make sure you're reaching out to people and be self-aware enough to know, you know, if you need some, some help or guidance, you know, we have our EAP. I know a lot of people are just like, Ugh, whatever, but, you know, sometimes it helps to talk to somebody, whether it's a trusted friend, you know, family member, someone here at Tri-State, or, you know, if you don't want anyone to know, it's always good to reach out. You know, we do have the EAP, which is an employee assistance program and you know they do have counseling and stuff like that phone visits and um, everything they'd be able to help with those kind of things so make sure you're utilizing that um let's see questions no okay one other thing that i wanted uh, to touch on and i have to look at my phone i'm not um i have my dates in here since i don't have my notepad so um we have set open enrollment for next year for insurance um, so you can mark these dates on your calendar. Of course, there's going to be a lot more information uh, that's coming out on that when we get closer to time, but um, it has been set for November 4th through November the 18th um, as open enrollment. So that's just kind of a little bug in here if you want to put that uh, in so you know that those dates are coming up. Of course, you'll be uh, flooded with information from us at that time. Um, I guess if there's not any other questions or concerns, then uh, we will just plan on seeing everybody again next Thursday. And uh, it should be Mike's well, lovely face. And there is one thing for Michael. It wouldn't be a typical Joplin live without Michael uh, saying something about okay. your wardrobe. He says, nice sweater, Cheryl. When do you think winter will be over in Joplin? Okay. <laughs> It is cooler because we've had rain. We haven't had rain for a long time, but I'm, I'm cold-natured, you know, has to do with my cold heart. I have to say I, I'm literally almost to the point of sweating because our AC is not working in Joplin again. And today, the one of the days that I came in the facility, um, it's really humid in here. So, Mike, you can make fun of me all you <laughs> want. As soon as I'm out of here, my sweater is coming off because it is definitely hot in here. Um, I should have brought my vest. That's what I yeah. should have had my vest. That would have been quite so hot. Um, okay, well, uh, just plan on having a great Thursday. Be safe out there. Uh, once again, we appreciate you guys very much. Everything that you do, feel free to reach out with us. Uh, any questions or concerns that you have, and we will talk again next Thursday. Have a great day.